Just as the research around the benefits of CBD continues, researchers are continuing to study the recommended dosages and optimal consumption of CBD. When considering the ideal dosage of CBD, one important factor comes into play. CBD bioavailability. This may sound like an obscure technical term, but understanding bioavailability is crucial for understanding how CBD behaves in the human body, and therefore how much CBD you should take. We've talked before about the unfortunate prevalence of misinformation when it comes to CBD. For that reason, it is critical that consumers educate themselves about CBD so that they can make informed purchasing decisions and buy quality CBD products that deliver the benefits and advantages that they expect. On that note, we've put together this video on CBD bioavailability. We'll explain CBD bioavailability in simple terms as well as talk about the different types of CBD bioavailability and the factors that contribute to it. Let's dive in. So, what is CBD bioavailability? Bioavailability is a term that refers not only to CBD but a range of compounds. An official definition given from Science Direct states, bioavailability is the potential for uptake of a substance by a living organism. It is usually expressed as a fraction that can be taken up by the organism in relation to the total amount of the substance available. Experts recommend that you take the right dosage of any substance in order to get the best results. So, how do you determine the best dosage? The bioavailability of a compound or product is helpful for determining the total percentage of the substance that is absorbed into the human bloodstream. Before you take a medicine and any other health product or supplement, you need to know its bioavailability to determine the right dose. In other words, bioavailability is the rate at which a compound reaches the bloodstream and is absorbed into the body. When it comes to CBD, bioavailability is greatly influenced by the method of consumption. You may already know that CBD can be taken in a variety of forms, including oils, vapour, creams and edibles. The bioavailability of CBD can differ depending on how you choose to consume it. Later, we'll look at the CBD availability of some of the common ways to take CBD. The perfect CBD dosage for you depends on several factors. These can include, for example, your body weight and CBD tolerance level. Everyone has different metabolism, and your doctor might recommend a certain dosage if you have a medical condition. In general terms, it is recommended to start with a very small dosage which you first take CBD, and from there continue to increase the dosage over time. Most health experts recommend that beginners should start with one drop of CBD oil, which in a broad spectrum CBD oil should contain around 5 mg of CBD. After that, they should increase the dosage as their body gets used to the cannabinoid. Understanding the different forms of CBD and their relationship with bioavailability will help you determine the correct dosage. We've already discussed that the bioavailability of any compound relates to how quickly it is absorbed and used by the body. Unsurprisingly, how you take any compound will affect its bioavailability. Think about the difference between eating or smoking certain substances, or ingesting versus injecting others. So, does CBD bioavailability vary between the different methods of taking CBD, such as sublingually, orally, or through inhalation? Let's look. We'll start with oral CBD bioavailability. When we talk about oral CBD bioavailability, we're referring to the oral consumption of CBD through edibles. Edibles such as foods containing CBD, tea, and coffee. Edibles such as foods containing CBD, tea, and coffee are the highly popular ways to take CBD. However, oral consumption is arguably the least effective way to get CBD into your bloodstream because edibles have the lowest bioavailability. Although being a very convenient way to take CBD, you can't expect the same results of oral CBD consumption with the same dosage as compared to other forms of CBD. Typically, you can expect 10% to 20% CBD bioavailability through oral consumption. Although, in some cases, it is as low as 6%. You might be wondering why oral CBD has the lowest bioavailability. This is because cannabinoids, like any other supplement that you consume orally, do not enter your bloodstream directly. Rather, they must go through your digestive system first and this process can take up to 2 hours before the CBD reaches the bloodstream. Even then, most of the cannabinoids enter your digestive tract with only a small percentage of CBD getting absorbed into your bloodstream. In other words, you lose a large amount of CBD to your liver and digestive tract by taking it orally. Additionally, the digestion process delays the absorption of CBD by your body. This means that you have to wait longer to see the results. The next one is sublingual CBD bioavailability. Since edibles do not have the best bioavailability, many people prefer to use CBD oil or spray to get CBD into their bloodstream. CBD drops or sprays are the most effective if you hold a product beneath your tongue. Research suggests that CBD has a bioavailability of between 1 and 19% when absorbed through drops and sprays, though it can be as high as 35%. This is because when you place a drop of CBD oil under your tongue, the CBD can enter your bloodstream via the sublingual gland, and it starts being used by your body between anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes after consumption. It is important to hold a drop properly beneath your tongue to get the best results. For optimal effects, you should hold it for around 30 to 50 seconds, or at least 40 seconds. 
Remember that you don't have to swallow the oil quickly. Placing a drop in appropriately or swallowing the CBD before it enters the sublingual gland will make this method similar to oral consumption, which involves lower CBD bioavailability than other consumption methods. The third one would be CBD inhalation. Inhaling CBD has a significantly higher bioavailability compared to most other forms of CBD, and much more than oral consumption. This is because CBD doesn't have to pass through your digestive tract before being absorbed into your bloodstream. Not only does this reduce the absorption time, but inhalation allows a good proportion of the cannabinoids to enter your bloodstream. When you inhale CBD through vaping, it enters your bloodstream through your lungs. With each breath, you inhale a significant amount of CBD. This is absorbed through the thin membranes of the alveoli in your lungs almost instantly and can enter your bloodstream more rapidly compared to other methods. Through inhalation, the absorption rate of CBD is around 30%, and it can be used by the body within 5 or 10 minutes. There is some evidence that CBD inhalation bioavailability can be up to 56%. The fourth one would be topical bioavailability. In all the methods listed above, we've seen that the most common way to get CBD into your bloodstream is via your mouth, be it edibles, CBD oil, or inhalation. However, there is an alternative method if you don't want to inhale CBD or take it orally. You can apply it topically to the skin through a cream, lotion, serum, lip balms, salves, and patches. In topical bioavailability, the CBD enters your bloodstream through the skin. This is distinct from oral forms of CBD, where the compound passes through your lungs, sublingual glands, or digestive system. This kind of transdermal application has a high bioavailability. In this application, the cannabinoid passes through the endocannabinoid receptors in your body. Just like the sublingual method, users need to pay special attention to the application method in order to receive the best results. You might think it would be easy for CBD to pass into your system through skin pores. However, contrary to what you may believe, our skin isn't that porous. So in order to get CBD into the bloodstream through topical bioavailability, you are going to need to apply some pressure by rubbing the topical application into the skin. Although this area requires further research, it is believed that topical application of CBD has very low bioavailability, around 3%. Some companies have launched innovative CBD products to overcome the low bioavailability of topical CBD, such as CBD patches that allow the compound to permeate through your skin and reach the bloodstream more quickly. The final one is intravenous CBD. Although uncommon, the intravenous method offers the highest degree of CBD bioavailability. In fact, the absorption rate of CBD in other cannabinoids is almost 100% when injected into the bloodstream. Intravenous methods involve injecting CBD into the bloodstream. Although it has a high degree of bioavailability, intravenous absorption isn't necessarily the most effective method, as it can lead to a sudden drop in your blood level. Additionally, this method has a shorter half-life as compared to the sublingual and inhaling methods. Furthermore, this is a complex procedure which should only be done by a doctor, a nurse or a health professional. Well everyone, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're looking for CBD oil, broad spectrum that is. On our website, we sell CBD balm, oil and capsules. Expect more videos to come talking about CBD oil, how you should take it and much more. To stay up to date, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We'll see you next time.